Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you have not already noticed the title, yes, this vlog is going to be about my trip to Seoul. Now by the time you've watched this vlog, I would have traveled and come back from my trip. So before we get into the actual footage, I wanted to share with you guys how I've prepared for my trip. First thing, accommodation. For most of the time, we will stay around the old area of Seoul. Apparently I heard that there's this old and new Seoul. New Seoul is on one side of the Han River, it's where Gangnam is. All the entertainment, beauty and media industries. And then there's the old Seoul which is on the other side of the Han River and it's more traditional I guess. And that's the purpose of our trip which is to experience experience the culture. So for the first two days, we'll stay in a Hanuk guest house, which is a traditional Korean guest house. We wanted to experience what it's like to live in such places. And it's around the Anguk area where a lot of these houses are protected by the government. After that, we'll move to an Airbnb in Hongdae. And Hongdae is a shortened term for Hongik Hakyo, which literally translates to Hongik University. And yes, it's the heart of the youth culture. As a youth myself, I want to experience the shopping, the art, and the cafes there. It's totally me. Of course, we will still travel around the city, but for accommodation wise, those two places are the areas we'll be at. And I've also downloaded a few apps before I fly off to Korea. I don't know if you can see well, but yes, these are some of the apps I've downloaded. There's Metal and P Life, Snow. Okay, um, those are not the important ones. The important ones are Subway, Kakao Talk, Korean, and Kakao Map. I downloaded subway because our main transportation is going to be using the subway. It's not going to be taxis because it's really expensive. Basically this map shows you all the stations in Seoul and how to get from one station to another and basically like the arrival time, how long it takes, the cost. And there's also an English version. Next up is Kakao Talk which is like the Korean version of WhatsApp. Basically, it's a messaging app that I will need to keep in touch with my Korean friends just in case anything happens. Okay, this is very important, Kakao Map. Because Google Map does not work in Korea due to some laws, so you definitely need to download either the Kakao Map or the Neighbor Map. Lastly, Korean. So even though I've spent two months at home learning Korean by myself to, you know, prepare for this trip, my Korean skills are not good enough. I'm not able to hold like a decent simple conversation with a local. So I'll definitely need all of these common phrases. So that's pretty much it. Without further ado, let's just get straight into the vlog. So hi guys, we're now at Incheon Airport and everyone looks pretty decent for two hours late. How are you feeling today? We're finally here after four hours. Very disoriented still. So we finally got our SIM card and also our Wi-Fi egg here for seven days. We've made it up a few flights of staircase to the moon. I cannot even talk. But anyway, so now we're finding our guest house. As expected, it's very quiet. Every store is practically closed. But I think we will survive. It's quite quiet and we like it. It's not that crowded and hectic. We just finished our lunch and then now we're walking to Myeongdong to do some shopping.
since we don't have much time we're only going to like a part of the stream it's quite long though it's like a few kilometers long right if i'm not wrong This is the guest house. There are four layers to the door. So one, two, three, four. This is the shared kitchen where everyone can basically share the empties here and the cooking. These are basically the items I got from Myeongdong. So they are the clean perfume endorsed by the one and only 101. It is free repairing conditioner, Son and Park Beauty Water, MediHeal Mask, Coaster RX AHA Liquid, Innisfree Eye Cream. We went to both Myeongdong and Insadong because both of them are quite near to each other. However, we didn't get anything from Insadong because one, it's expensive, two, unless you want traditional items or traditional gifts for your friends and family then however we might drop by in Sodong again when we need to rent a hanbok So we decided to go back to Insadong for some dessert because, you know, everyone has a lot of appetite. Okay guys, so we've just gotten back from Insadong. Now we're dead tired. We're just gonna sleep and then next morning we're going to Nami Island. Hopefully we'll be there on time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 